Achievement in Women's High School Coaching is our next award. And Ed Zink is first up, the winningest girls high school basketball coach in Ohio. But he had no idea that basketball would become his legacy during his early days as a student at Beaver Creek High because football was his sport of choice. Zink was a fullback and a punter at the University of Dayton and was voted the Flyers' most valuable player in 1973. He set a goal to become a head football coach, and while serving as an assistant football coach in 1975, there were basketball openings for the sophomore boys team and the girls head coaching team. Well, the other guy who applied said he wouldn't coach girls, so the job became Zink's, and it was a move that he would never regret. Over the next 36 years, Ed Zink built the Beaver Creek girls basketball program into a legendary powerhouse. The Beavers won Division I state championships in 1995, 2001, and 2003. Zink's 658th victory came on February 10th, 2011, when Beaver Creek defeated Springfield. He became the winningest girls coach in the state. He finished his career with a record of 659 wins, 183 losses when he retired at the end of the 2011 school year. Coach Ed Zink, we congratulate you for your achievements and we welcome you into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame, Coach. Well, thank you. I probably should have taken Jerry Lucas's class because I can't remember crap, so I've got a I've got a cheat sheet here that I gotta use. But I wanna uh, thank Don and Doc, the Ohio Basketball um, Hall of Fame, and the Board of Directors for this great honor. I'm flattered, I'm very humbled by it to see, to be going in with this great group, and then I see some of the people who are already in it, and it's just, you know, you, you, it's hard to believe that you're in the same boat with them. So I wanna thank you guys for that. I'd also like to thank my former players, the ones that are here, ones that are not, because as a coach, you know, without your players, you're only good as the players you have. So if it wasn't for all the former players that I ever had, I would not be up here right now. So I want to thank them. Also, to go along with that, I don't think you do something for 37 years, okay, without enjoying it, but to do that, you've got to have the support of the parents. And I'd like to thank all my former parents because, you know, they, they can make things a nightmare. And for the, most, for the most part at Beaver Creek, we've got great parents. And, um, you know, that just makes the job fun. So I want to thank them. I'd also like to thank my former ADs from the very first one who hired me, Rex Warner, Okay, to uh, Bevan Garwood, to Denton Brower, uh, for all the support that they've given me. Uh, I'd like to thank my assistant coaches, uh, Mary Jo Petroselli, um, Terry uh, Downing, or Giuliano Downing, and Dick Orr. Without those people, you know, once again, I would not be here. And I'd also like to thank my wife uh, of 35 years, Nancy and my family, um, for all the support they've given me over the years. And I'm being told it's time to go here, so I will end it here, but I just want to say thanks to everybody, and congratulations to the other inductees. Thank you.